Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Paloni Waffles. Welcome back to more We Happy Few. Uh, this is where we died last. I already went through, did some inventory management with what's her face Prudence. Here we go. There's just a dude here. Do you have those numbers for George yet? Did you see the Pipers match? Smashing! Okay. You're just a random dude here that we're all right, I guess wait. Could use a power cell, I think. I did not know that there would be people down here. I was not expecting that. <clears throat> so last episode we left the parade. I'm tired of the tracks through the mine somehow. So what we're trying to do is go somewhere through the tracks, but they're obviously dilapidated and gone to a point. They exploded or are just missing. What's in the two locks metal tube? There's we'll take the bobby pins. So we're just going through these areas. I'm not Oh, we gotta go down into. Uh, this is not gonna. I don't trust this. Okay. Press the bouton. Let's see what. I could take a few more of these and I wouldn't be a downer anymore. I'm sure it's perfectly safe going into the mines. What are the odds they'll collapse again, eh? Again, uh, how many times did they collapse? If it was once, possibility would be low. Almost in the shape of a camel. We're gonna equip just the boiler suit. Just uh. Wait a second, it did change. From trespassing. Oh, cool. So the bar being red or. Yeah, it's now white. That's an interesting Hello. little detail. Do I know you? The uh, executive committee asked me to see how things are going down here. About bloody time. I've been asking them for months. They think everything's peachy keen down here. It's not peachy keen, is it? I don't suppose you saw anyone working on the way in? Unless they were disguising it terribly well, no. They get dotty if they forget to go topside. The XCOM sent me to inspect the... the machine over there. The bucket wheel excavator? <laughs> oh, this is hilarious. Did you happen to notice a bloody great hole on your way in? That's because we delved too sloppily and too deep with that thing, and half the mine collapsed. I told the gang to stick to picks and shovels. We start that beast up again, the rest of the mine is going to collapse and take the entire bloody parade with it. That's quite alarming. Have you removed the activator? Ah, no. The gang don't seem very interested in starting it up. Well, I think you'd better let me remove the activator. I don't want any accidents. Ah, all right. You'll need my keycard. I'll let them know you need relief. By God, you are the most on-the-ball person I've seen in years. Are you sure you're not a downer? Uh... <laughs> oh. <laughs> you sure you're not a downer? Yes. Duck or grouse? What was that, limbo? Alright, well, I guess we'll... Looks like we'll turn on the machine. That can't go over well. We did it! I didn't think that would work! Can I use this excavator thing to cross that abyss? Ooh. I wonder how you, you turn it on. You have to jump, I guess, right as it goes off. Ooh, and we got a memory. I've got it! What if you come with me? And I'm too old. What if I sneak you on the train? That's against... 
That's against the rules. Well, if we get caught, I'll just say there was a mix-up and you can play dumb. Are you sure? Remember how I snuck you on the camping trip? Didn't it work out brilliantly? Just trust me. I trust you, Arthur. I said I trust you, Arthur. We'll go to Germany together. We'll take care of each other, no matter what happens. Do not push the big lever. We'll destroy everything. How do you know if you've never pushed it? Alright, I'm gonna take a quick look around before pressing the big friendly button. Well, not really a big friendly button. There is nothing around in the immediate vicinity, so we shall destroy everything. Are you feeling a lot, sir? It wasn't me. Oh, is everybody going to be freaking out? There we go. Oh, we can... I totally missed that. I totally missed the control box on top here. Okay, well, that'll make life a lot easier. Oh, everybody's just angry at me. All right. Was that somebody screaming and falling off the... All right, we're just gonna run past everything. It is really hard to... Danger, turn back. Turn back. Alright. <clears throat> oh, come on! Seriously? Can you just wait till I'm gone? And just like that, all right. Well, that was you really explosive. Mr. Fine Percy. I mean, where would you even look for him? Is he even alive? Is he in Russia? How would you even get to Germany? Simon says, "Skip, free Faraday. Skipping is not a crime." I fought for king and country. Rip Charlie Woodcock. Remember John Bolton. Stop skippers for their own good. Constable should assume that any unauthorized person past this point is attempting to leave Wellington Wells. This is clear evidence of mental derangement. Skippers will often complain of hunger. This is further evidence of psychosis induced from joy withdrawal. After subduing a would-be skipper, please remind him to... Something. Custody of Dr. Verloc at Hayworth Labs. So we're going to find oh, Percy. Good. I'm finally back on the right track. Hmm. RP Charlie Woodcock. Um, oh, okay. I was thinking... Oh, hey... Arthur? What the hell are you doing back? They didn't take me. They didn't take you? Well, there was a mix-up about my birthday. They thought I was too old. The Germans? Had a cock up in their paperwork? No, the... Uh, oh, yeah. The... the Germans. Where's Percy? On the train. That's some cock up. I'm sorry. Don't be sorry. At least you don't talk bollocks all the time. I'm sorry. Let's not talk about this anymore. 
Okay, no sound effect or re-entry. Sound effect phase in. Okay, I thought we were gonna have to walk up that. You know where I'm going in holidays? Spain. I've not been to Spain, except Gibraltar. Okay, so there's bobbies around. You're doing this because you don't have a strong enough sense of self-preservation to leave Wellington Wells on your own account, aren't you? You need the guilt. I recognize him. Mr. Hastings. Just when I'd given up all hope of seeing an engineer. You know, sir, we've come to the end of our time. Some of us cut and run. Some of us stand by our post. Some of us take care of our brother. My brother? What are you saying? All men is brothers, sir. Right. Huh. Of course. Oh, damn thing so itchy. It's times like these what try men's souls, sir. They try men's souls. I know you. Please keep your hands inside the train. It is very dangerous to You must get back on the train. The windows of the train. Where'd you go? Arthur! You must get back on board! No, I'm just here to take my brothers to the train. No! Please, Arthur! No, 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 get off! Mr. Please, no. Percival Hastings. No. That's me, Arthur, Percy. No, People no, call me Percy. Please, no. Someone has written on this card that you are a bit dim, and you can't be roaming about on your own. You don't seem dim. Right. Well, um, Mum thinks I can't. Mum no. thinks I can't. No, no, Mum no. thinks no, I can't no, take Arthur, care please. of myself. Arthur. But I can. Arthur. I got it with you. To tell the truth, I really did want to go to Germany with my brother, Arthur. See, we, we'd sort of take care of each other. So I tried to sneak on, but then Arthur said, no, we have to follow the rules. Is that so? I'll just run along home. Mum's probably worried sick. Uh, can I go? This is a day we may all come to regret, Mr. Hastings. But I am not going to put one more child on that train than my duty obligates me to do. Run along then. Sir, are you all right? I'll best be on my way. something terrible. Oh, we have all done things we regret, sir. Some of them we regretted as we done them. Some of them never quite go away. I told him we'd go to Germany together. I told him I'd hold our passports and then I walked off the train with his passport. He didn't know how to talk to anyone but me. I can't make it up to him now. Can I? No, sir. I imagine you cannot. Then who is there to forgive me? Some try to forget. I can't do that. Not anymore. Well, I suppose you, you must treat it as a gift. To know who you are. Without that, there's no hope for wisdom. I wish I still believed in some sort of mercy. Life goes on. That is the mercy. Come on, sir. Once you're out there, you'll know what to do.
Act two. And after all the troubles of the day, Act three C scenes. Well, let's just fire this up. Please don't blow up in the next 30 seconds. We're playing as Sally now? So it seems like Arthur left the train with Percy's passport. And I guess Percy is just slightly too old. So Percy pretended to be... Or no, Arthur pretended to be Percy. And Percy is the one that's mentally handicapped, it looks like. Or is just slow. And he just left him. That's interesting. Okay, I had no idea we were going to play. I did not know that that was going to be, like, just the end. So he's trying to... This looks like he's just trying to find his brother somehow. And now we're playing as Sally. I guess that would be why Sally didn't come with us earlier. Also, I looked through the skill tree. Not all of it, just like most of it. And her base skills are a lot different as well as the skill tree. Oh, that's... Huh. And I guess she can also... Yeah, she's got a bunch of different skill trees. Okay. Just a minute! I'm out of Blackberry Spud. Come back later. I need it now! Sorry. I don't have any now. Okay. Empty syringe, light bulb. Man, I I ordered so many things as Arthur that I just never freaking used. What do you mean locked? It's our desk, isn't it? Okay. What the hell was that? Where is it? Where's the Blackberry? I'm making it. You're lying. It's a very delicate reaction. You're saving it all for the bobbies. <laughs> How do you break through the door? Where are you? It's up there, isn't it? Shit, I need my emergency kit. What's your language, Sally? Jeez. Where's my emerg where's the emergency? Oh. This better work on Spud. Sally uses knockout syringes to sneakily knock people out. It's so much more modern. Let's see upstairs? Oh no. Oh, we recognize this. We reckon oh uh, yeah, we were here as Arthur. Yeah. She broke my brain. It's not possible. We sent them all away. They never came back. It's a, it's a rat. I'm hallucinating and it's a rat. And it's gonna bite me. You can't be a baby. You're a rat. You have to be a rat. We better get Spot out of here. Is that why Sally said it wasn't a good time? You'd think a junkie would weigh a bit less, wouldn't you? Oh yeah, so she's not able to, um... She moves, like, 30% oh, well, slower. Of course, there's the blower. When she's, uh, carrying a corpse. 
Oh, this is all part of her house. Oh, oh, okay. I hope Gwen's all right. Answer the blower? Sure. Brilliant. They all want Blackberry Joy. Spock couldn't have shown up at a worse time. Blackberry Joy. Oh, she's making a new flavor? Oh, we gotta call him Gwen. Oh, okay, a this is... Bucket. Language, Sally. Oh, we gotta go back down to the lab. I shouldn't have left it alone. I better turn down the heat. So she's making her own joy? Lab object. Who is it now? Hello in there! Is there anyone in there? Would you come to the front door, please? Constable! Whatever brings you here? Someone seems to have bashed your front door in, Mom. Terrible, isn't it? I forgot my key and I had to sort of bash my way in. I've had reports, Mom. All sorts of people come into your door. Amazing, isn't it? So many people get lost these days and they keep asking me for directions. You're not selling illicit substances, are you? You mean aside from Blackberry Joy? To the constabulary? Oh. Are you Sally Boyle? Mm-hmm. Oh, that's stupid of me. I'm so sorry to have been a bother. I, I know a terribly good joiner. I'll send him round, fix that door up for you. No need, Constable. But you're very sweet. I'll just, uh, I'll be on my way, Mom. Cheerio, bye. Okay, this is interesting. I'm liking this so far. I'm, I'm like, oh yeah, this is cool. Oh, uh, wait, hold on. So she can craft things that nobody else can make. She doesn't need to worry about... She can craft sunshine. Holy crap. Flower bag, rowanberry, bleach, and an empty pill. That gives you ten. Dang. Okay. There, there. Shh. It's okay. The bad man is asleep. He won't bother you anymore. Oh, you've got a poopy nappy, don't you? Let's go get you a nice clean one. I'll need to filter some water. Make filtered water. All right. If I'd known I was gonna be that close in the last episode, I would have. Oh, it requires. Let's see. Okay, canteen. Fill the canteen. Gwen's running out of nappies. I better make some more. Why did I put that cloth and tape? Craft or pick up the nappy. Okay. This is. I'm not sure what to think of this yet. Is she gonna like? So obviously she's created Try not some. To poop again until I get a new nappy on you, okay? So she's got a new flavor of joy that I guess she's selling to the um, the constables. So if she goes missing, they're gonna presumably oh, come so after her. Man, people these days are impatient. I get it, I get it. You're ringing the doorbell, Larry. Calm down before I beat you over the head with the pipe. Hello, Miss Boyle. Just wondering if you were uh, planning to, to, to drop by the, um, the, the, the old neighborhood anytime soon. We all miss you. Don't worry, I'm fine. I'm just in the middle of um, cooking. No, I'll get on the blower and let everyone know. As soon as it's ready. Promise. Oh, she's probably hungry by now. I should have fed her before I started the reaction. Milk from the fridge, presumably upstairs in the kitchen. No, 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 
No. No, they can't all be broken. No, this was enough milk for a month. Fuck it, fuck it. I better go calm her down. I can't think when she's crying like that. There, there, baby. Everything's gonna be okay. Mummy promises. Thing is, Mummy doesn't know how she's gonna feed you. Did you know that? And if she doesn't figure it out, Baby is gonna starve to death. Is Mummy the worst Mummy ever? Yes, she is. Yes, she is. Lionel. Wait. Lionel might have tinned milk. He has a bit of everything. At certain points in Sally's story, you will get... You will need to get back home and feed Gwen. Don't delay, or as an increasingly heavy burden will be placed upon you as you worry more and more about her. Okay. Listen, darling. Mummy's gonna go and see Lionel. Try not to cry too much till Mummy comes back. Okay? Please? Don't cry Mommy over tin to milk. As as we got nine can. skill points? Holy crap. Okay, let's see what she's... Nothing gonna freak out about me taking joy? I honestly don't know. Please have tin milk, Lionel. Lovely day Please. for it. Sally Boyle! I'm afraid I haven't got anything new or fashionable for a monk girl like yourself. Everything I've got is as old as me. <laughs> oh, Lionel. You've never felt old to me. I need some tin milk for something I'm brewing. Oh, well, uh, the, 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 the trade from over the bridge, well, all, all we seem to have at the moment is a few tins of leftovers from the war, and they're practically collector's items. Pricey. Oh, I'm... A bit short on funds at the moment. Is there anything we could trade? Not unless you're willing to go over to the garden district. <laughs> Why not? A girl like you? Some of the wastrels out there. there. There's rumors of cannibals, devil worshippers, cue jumpers. It's sweet that you're looking out for me. Well, some time ago, Uncle Jack made a record album. Uncle Jack Sings. And I got a collector who's dying to have it. Now, I know there's a bunch of Uncle Jack fans who have a sort of compound on Eel Pie. If anyone's got the album, it's them. Bring me that, and I'll give you all the tin milk I have. All right. I'll see what I can find. Go to see the Uncle Jack. F oh. You are petite, but not terrific at fighting or at surviving fights, but you don't have to avoid confrontations. Because you are a genius chemist, your powerful experimental drugs make you a match for any opponent. You already know some of the recipes, but you must find the most advanced ones in encounters or via skills. Unfortunately, you are rubbish at anything mechanical, including sewing. You'll need to buy your supplies and weapons from shopkeepers and your outfits from Mrs. Pinkhurst. Fortunately, your old boss, Stuart, the chemist, will pay a lot of money for your concoctions, so brew enough for everybody. Uncle Jack records. Jesus okay. Christ. Gwen's life is hanging on Uncle Jack records. Eight hundred. Oh, that? Damn it. I better go home and get my garden district drag. Yeah. Can't walk around there in the latest Davy Jackney. It gets so resentful. A garden district kit? And we've received a cricket bat. Sunshine, Prudence Holmes, need to keep enough for me. We found her body with Arthur when we were going through the mines. Or just the really toxic area right before we hit the mines. Hallucinex. Oh, the places you'll go. The things you see, whether they're there or not. Causes hallucination and wandering. Butterfly roaming free. Oh, no. All right, this, oh, this is gonna take so long to get there if we can't sprint. Cause with Arthur, we were sprinting back and forth between a couple of places with, and it was like 800 meters, but to walk 900? Okay, hold on, let's take a joy and then go through. Hey, convenience, I hope. Oh, it's been too long. You know, I think we wear the same size. 
I didn't want to talk to the random person. Ooh, hey, Hayworth Labs. What flavor does she get? Ah, she gets strawberry as well. Okay. Oh, look at the joy meter. It didn't go up as much. I don't think anyways, I don't remember. It's been a while since I've taken Joy as Arthur, but I swear it didn't, that did not go up as much. Like the, the, um, the overdose thing that's around the Joy. One of these days, Gwen, I'm gonna teach you all about chemical interactions. They're so much more reliable than boys. Sally uses an atomizer to spray chemicals at her enemies. You can craft Hallucinex in the chemical section of the crafting menu. Then you can craft the Hallucinex atomizer in the weapons section of the crafting menu. Equip the Hallucinex atomizer as a weapon and click to create clouds of drugs that will make other people think obsessively about dogs with hilarious and violent results. You'll be able to unlock other itemizer, atomizer recipes throughout the game. Alright, so first things first, we gotta equip the torn suit. Am I my brother's keeper? Am I? Thunderbridge has fallen. Oh, that's creepy. Alright, well, you know, same thing as before. Hoard everything. Hoard as many different recipes as you can. It'll be different not do an actual f Benefit of Mr. Kite. The rabbit got into the garden. The rabbit got into the garden. Sounds like some sort of secret message. I agree. I'm surprised that that thing's Is actually this the post working. Box I dared Arthur to blow up. Hello. Are you a friend of Uncle Jack? Of course. Who isn't? You'd be surprised. Some people seem to think that because we're out here in the Garden District, we have to abandon all pretense of civilization. We can't take joy, but that doesn't mean we can't see the world the way Uncle Jack does, right? It's just a question of concentration. Oh, yes. In fact, Uncle Jack has heard of you. He's heard of us? You can't be serious. Is he going to talk to us on the TV? Oh, but we never get the new programs out here. What did he say? How do you know? Why don't you ask him? He's coming to visit. He wants to do a live broadcast from here. He's coming here? But the place is a mess. We have to clean up. Uh, Uncle Jack's coming. Uncle he's Jack's coming. Uh, Uncle Uncle that's the spirit. Let's show Uncle Jack just how much we love him. Okay. <clears throat> Hold on, let me remove the custom waypoint. None of my business, really. Requires knockout syringe. I'm afraid we've come to. He excuse you. What? The one who did it. I didn't do diddly squat. So now we're doing the quest that, um, that he asked Arthur to do. All right. Oh, time to piss a ton of people off. Oh, come on. Woohoo! All righty. Close. Ow. Okay, come on, give me the, give me the, give me the stupid. Still alive. I wonder if I'm a cat. Oh, and we gotta start all over again. That'll do it for this video. That took a very interesting turn. I was not expecting that. I thought it was just gonna be Arthur, and then that was it. So now I got Sally. It's at Act Two. I don't know if there's gonna be any more. I don't know any of a. I don't know of any other characters we could possibly play as. So took a very interesting turn. Learned a couple of things about Arthur. I just want to say, it was hinted at before. And then it was hinted at again throughout when we were playing Arthur. And then the dude that we saw, we also reckon I also recognize him because he talked to us in one of the labs where we were trying to get Dr. Faraday's address. That's where I remember him from. So we walked up to the elevator, then a cutscene triggered. I'm gonna keep 
playing this because I'm curious to see where Sally's story goes because apparently we've got a baby and I guess that's not allowed or something because the guy was freaking out. Hope you guys are enjoying, still enjoying the series. See you in the next one. Share this video with a random stranger on the internet. Goodbye.